Next up on WTV, freshmen take on advisory for the first time and a recap of this weekend's sports. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, August 27th, and I'm Wade Glover with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. After two weeks of homeroom, freshman students will take part in their first advisory period. WTV's Kennedy Williams breaks down how the period works for new and returning students. Advisory periods are great for catching up with friends, conducting a study session, or a variety of other purposes. With beginning of the year orientations out of close, freshmen on campus can now use their advisory period as they please with a few caveats. Generally speaking, all students can visit most areas on campus that are supervised by a faculty member. This includes the cafeteria, the main hallway, the library, and any classroom with a teacher. All campus rules still apply when the advisory period begins, but remember that students are not allowed to leave campus unless the reason has been approved by a faculty member. If a student is failing any of his or her classes, the teacher of said class has the right to assign that student to mandatory tutorials on a specific day of the week until the student gets caught up. Mondays are for social studies and world languages, Tuesdays are for English, Wednesdays are for math, Thursdays for science, and Fridays are for all electives. On top of this, every freshman on campus is required to attend their homeroom class on Fridays during advisory. Reporting for Wingspan TV, I'm Kennedy Williams. Football scrimmage Voice City Friday night to kick off the new season. WTV's Surya Ravachandran has the story. Tennis, cross country, and football were in action this weekend. Tennis started off their season on Friday by playing their first district match against Lebanon Trail. The Red Hawks came out with a 12-7 win as they start off their season strong with a record of 1-0. Cross country competed in the FISD Invitational Meet on Saturday in Warren Park. The girls finished 8th in the meet with Amelia Jeregi finishing 2nd overall. The boys finished 5th with Jason Ferguson coming in at 11th. The football team held a scrimmage game on Thursday to prepare for the upcoming season. The Red Hawks will play their first district game against North Garland on Friday at Garland's Williams Stadium at 7 p.m. Reporting for WTV Sports, I'm Sergey Ravichandran. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. Please stay tuned for today's announcements. Anyone interested in joining a multicultural club can come to room C236 today during advisory. FCA kicks off the new year with the sand volleyball tournament tonight from 6.30 to 8.30 at the Cottonwood Creek Church. School pictures are on Wednesday and Thursday in social studies classes. Pulse has its first meeting Wednesday in the lecture hall. New and old members are invited. DECA's first meeting will be on Wednesday in room C243 during advisory. Homecoming tickets are now available for purchase on MyPayments Plus. That's it for today's daily update. This has been Wake Lover for Wingspan TV.